Hello, this is Justin of the Tech Train here. Do you need to create a whole load of named folders like this, but currently only have people's names in a text file, spreadsheet, or other document? In this very quick tutorial, I want to show you how to go from a list of names like this to a set of folders like that in less time than it would take your blood to run cold when you've realized you hit reply all and not reply. So for this quick trick, what you'll need to have is everyone's names in a spreadsheet. I'm using Microsoft Excel here, and you'll need the first names in the first column and the last names in the second column. If you have that already, fantastic. If not, and you just have a list of names like I do here, then a very quick way of splitting those is to highlight the names, go to data and choose text to columns. Choose next, select space as the character that's between the first name and the last name, click next again, and then click finish. And you'll now have all of the first names in one column and all of the last names in a second column. Now, as it happens, I already have my names set up like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is write a formula, and I only need one formula for this, uh, and it's going to be in this first cell in column C. The formula I need is going to start with an equals, as usual, and then in speech marks, I'm going to put M, D, and a space. Close the speech marks. Now we need to add something else to that, so I'm going to use the ampersand or and sign. And then we want to include a speech mark, but of course we can't just type a speech mark because otherwise it'll think that now we're opening some text. So instead, what we use is char for character and brackets 34, and that will replace that with a speech mark. Now we need to and something else, so add something else to this, and then we're going to click on cell A1, which is the first name, then and, open speech marks, space, close speech marks to put a space between that name and the surname, another and, and click on B1. Now we need to put a speech mark at the end again, so it's the and, C-H-A-R, brackets 34, close speech marks, and we're done on our formula. Press enter, and you'll see that what we have is MD space, and then the person's name in speech marks. That's it. Once we've done that, click on that cell, click on the corner at the bottom right of it, to be able to replicate that down, let's just, uh, I've got a whole of about 500 names here. Let's just choose a hundred of them. There we go, like that. So I've now got this list of MD, which short of make directory, and these names. Next, I'm gonna simply highlight all of the contents of that column and press Control C to copy. And now I'm going to open up Notepad and I'm gonna paste that information in. You might have a blank line at the end, just get rid of it. Now that we've got this text file here, we can go to File, Save As, and go into the folder where you want to have all of your student named folders or whatever you're using this for. In here, we'll just simply, in the file name, we'll say uh, Create Folders. And this is really important because what we need to do now is put a full stop and the letters B A T. What we call a batch file. So this will basically run the code for us. So create folders.bat, click save, and now you'll see that in that folder we have what looks like a sort of gears there. It's not a text file, it's a batch file. And this is where the magic happens because what I'm going to do now is double click it and it will instantly create 100 folders with all of those names on for me. There we go, as quick as that. So now you have 100 folders. We can get rid of this batch file if we want to now. We don't need that anymore. And I have my folders with all my student names, or as I say, whatever reason you're using this for. Fantastic little check. So uh, I hope you liked that. If you did and you found that useful, please do give this video a like. It genuinely does make a difference for the channel. So thank you uh, for taking a second just to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already and you find these videos useful, please do click the subscribe button as well so you're notified of all new videos. 
Any questions, any comments, any suggestions, do leave a comment below. I do read all comments uh, and I reply to as many as I possibly can. So thank you very much indeed again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.